walk in, you can walk into Chinatown and and you need an interpreter. You know, yeah. <laughs> but I think it'd be great even if you know we could explore a, a way where producers from other public access stations or other communities would be welcome to come in and intern here for a weekend in exchange for us to go there and intern, mm -hmm. you know, work at their their facility. And mm -hmm. I think that would be a great, great thing to explore too, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'd like, to, I'd like to challenge some of the black community in uh, Asheville to become more uh, involved with uh, public access. We have... We have some black members involved, but they are quite few and rare. And I would like to, to if, if there are any uh, uh, black folks that watch the Tea Party, I bet there are. You think so? You think there'll be some folks watching the Tea Party? Well, 2200 didn't answer for the pizza, but we did get 20 that day. So. Okay, so if, the, if there are, I'd like to challenge you to come down here and say, say why those white folks just sit around and drink tea all the time? Why, <laughs> why don't they do something interesting? Well, come on down and do something. In Let me challenge you to come down and do something interesting, and I'll help you out if you've got any technical problems with it, and we'll get it on the, the TV. So just, you know, hey, just don't cuss. <laughs> no, no, not cuss. The one big rule, and I've told people dropping their pants and jumping up and down from the camera is out, too. Oh, have we got have we got to stop that now? Yeah. Man, they take all the fun out of it. I suppose okay. if you left the boxers on or something like that, it'd be okay. But yeah, okay, with boxers, with yes. with boxers. Yeah, yeah. That the. So where's the chicken? Oh, oh, yeah. Don't ask me. Look in that box you were just in. Yeah, but I thought there's no chicken in this box, but I did see the chicken here before. Oh. Oh, has Jonathan stolen it? Let's see if it's behind there. Did you just pick it up? No, there it is. Oh, oh. we forgot the chicken. The, oh. I, I didn't know what you were after. I thought you were after a rubber chicken or something. That's the chicken bunny. Mm -hmm. The chicken bunny. The chicken bunny. So, there you go. Here's your challenge. Walk off the table that way. Commit suicide. There. Suicide. The suicidal chicken bunny. Now see, now that's a si sound bite for you. If people suicide. aren't recording this, they've missed. They missed the the psi trance shape static, and in the back and in the background. Wait a minute. Let me do this. 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 A little bit of reverb, and we say. I'm a subject to reverb. What? what? Suicidal chicken bunny. Suicidal chicken bunny. Suicidal chicken bunny. Okay. I have 90 minutes left until somebody shows up to use the studio. Uh, studio A, that is. Um, JJ was telling me that a you can get a good reverb unit. Uh, he's telling me, you told him you can get a good reverb unit at Radio Shack for 20, 30 bucks, no. something like that. No, hold on. Sorry, Dad, where did he no, get that no, from? No. I don't know where he got that from. No. He said, no, but but you can you can get a good reverb unit built into like one of these shabbies right mm -hmm. here by adding an extra say thirty five bucks to the price of the, okay. the next model off that has one of those in it. But the, if you like the one like that uses here, it seems sufficient. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, I was thinking of something that can be used down the hallway in terms of a reverb unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, some tea. Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, is is there something that uh, can be easily had that plugs into the? Well, I've I've, I've said that I've said that I've said that you're looking at probably something in the neighborhood of a hundred dollars okay. for a, a a standalone reverb unit. Okay. Because they got uh, they didn't get a unit that had one in it. Mm -hmm. So if if that's something that needs to be added, it's probably going to cost us. If you buy them separately, they're about a hundred bucks for the cheapest okay. ones that are usable. Okay. Okay. Well, so, uh, well, that prevents me from running out and buying one right now since I have about ninety minutes of experimentation left. Okay, we can we can go online. You know, we can look on on eBay and see you know what could be found. Well, I was think I was just thinking, but that's that that's a good idea. I was just in my short term thinking from moment to moment. I just was thinking about take it easy, Joe. I'm gonna hope Thank that you. people show up at my house with food. 
Yes. And then uh, we'll be okay. Cracking Otherwise, cards. well, we'll do cheese and crackers or something. So you know, everyone will be happy. Are you going to Joe's house? Uh, oh, no, you're just hoping that your friends will bring food. Yeah, you're not my friends. Did you tell them ahead of time to bring? <laughs> did you tell them to bring food, or did you? I did on the air. The, and you think they're watching? I know two of them might be watching. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, okay. Then, then they should call the others. Do they know the, who the others are? Uh, no, they don't. I, I you're randomly secret. told people, and I don't remember what I told. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So everybody bring bring enough food That's for you and everybody else. <laughs> yeah, you know. I mean, uh -huh. So that'll be cool. And maybe you have cheese and crackers. Yeah, cheese and crackers and stuff. Yeah. All right. I'll see cheese you and later. crackers. All right. Is good. Thank you. <laughs> look, look, see what we have. Look at this. Check this action. Mm-hmm. There you go. We, we now have a okay. more ant. I shot. was, I was wondering because um, tomorrow we for Mount Dungeon we finally have our first dedicated hip hop show. Oh, that's too uh, bad. Our skills, a hip hop uh -huh. slash soul act. Uh -huh. And admittedly, I'm really not a big hip hop person, but it's very important to me that we be able to claim variety about Mount Dungeon. And oh, thank you. Very important to me that we claim uh, variety for Mount Dungeon. So um, there we go. Uh, motor skills, hip hop, uh, soul act. I've been told, and we're filming them tomorrow. That mic sounds great. Yeah, excellent. And so I was just wondering about what we could do for tomorrow and if we could get a little bit of reverb, then for tomorrow that would be cool. And suddenly get all this new sound equipment to play with all at once. But, oh, oh well. the, the hip-hop guys love some reverb. They do. Yeah, I figured that would be a good time but to they, bring but in some maybe reverb. they bring their own. Well, maybe we'll see. You know, they, they may have their own. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be going rick, 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 on records and stuff? I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, uh, they're just going to be like beating themselves and going <laughs> like that. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, I'm going to assume I'm going to assume that they're pretty good because uh, JJ, JJ said so. JJ found them, and uh, we've been a little bit picky about the idea of putting on hip hop. So if uh, one got past him and he approved one, then they're probably pretty decent. Mm -hmm. How drunk was he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know that he drinks. Oh, he no, he, he drinks. I I, I go to I a lot of. He might a little. JJ and I end up like going he's, to a lot of shows together. We're meeting meeting each other at a, at a number of he's, shows. He's not a teetotaler. He's he's he's, he's not like mm -hmm. you, you start you bust out the bottle of wine he can get going. All right. Uh, well, I'm, I'm the same way. I'll yeah. take it. I'll take. I'll drink a glass of wine. Yeah. yeah. And he'll drink a glass of wine or three. And actually. Uh, or two. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. I've I've seen him get a little tipsy at a few shows. Is he fun when he's drunk? Is he is he He talks about Estonia even more when he's drunk. He really That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean he, <laughs> he's got his passion for Estonia. He does. Which, yeah, which he does. And that's just that's dandy. You know? Yeah, you know, a, a respect for one's roots. He 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 is an Estonian nerd. Mm -hmm. Without a doubt. That's See, I'm he can he can speak on a wide variety of subjects as they pertain to Estonia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a melting pot of white folk mm. that I'm I just I'm can't be one thing. I mm. have no sense of ethnic identity beyond being an American suburbanite. Uh -huh. So that's my ethnic identity. Well, the big spill. I had a big spill earlier. I spilled tea here, yeah. and and it's already our water mm -hmm. or here somewhere. I spilled a bunch of water. It seems like most of it's already dry. Yeah, this show's definitely looking darker with that new black background and the mm -hmm. fact that a lot of people seem to be wearing black in front of it, too. As well, yeah. yeah. That's why I chose to use a lighter tablecloth today. So we used a black tablecloth yeah, yesterday. It was pretty, pretty dark and looking. Black on black? I don't it's know. It's funny because from that perspective, it looks very much like a cave, especially if you had the black tablecloth, which if you're sitting in here and can see all the other walls, you know is that is definitely not the case at all. It's just it's white not, all around. It's but certainly not cavernous. No, it's not. It, it look from there, it looks very cavernous. But if you're sitting here, cavernous is not the word. Not certainly, not spacious or roomy, but not cavernous. Right. More. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is uh, is the word? It's a. It is a an intimate studio. Yes. yes. Intimate little. But the tea, the tea room. A li intimate little tea room. Yeah, but the effect you get there is just one more miracle of the camera and the illusions you can create with it. And that it, it seems even It's a miracle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see you have a psycho shirt on. Yes, uh, psycho. 
Uh, which is a concert shirt for the female singer-songwriter Poe, who had a career in the 90s. And I went and saw a show of hers at some point at Toad's Place in New Haven, Connecticut, which was a really good club in Connecticut, probably the best club in in Connecticut by far. Mr. Toad's. Toad's Toad's Place. Place. Toad's Place in New Haven. Right on. The Rolling Stones even played there once in the 90s. Unannounced show was something people were buzzing about the next few days. The next few days? The rest of that year, probably. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, they apparently... Were they drunk? I don't know. Uh, I, mean, I know one of them has a house in Connecticut, oh, so sometimes right. when they come to America, yeah, they'll, they'll congregate there. Basically, they'll hang out in Connecticut for a while if they hit America, because mm-hmm. it's close to New York and everything else. Mm-hmm. And I guess they just decided to go play a live show and Toad's Place, the marquee, just said something like an unannounced band or just show tonight. Didn't say who it was or anything. Mm-hmm. So they got probably all of about 50 people who just decided to go check out, see who was playing tonight, and just mm-hmm. happened to be the Rolling Stones. It used to be the trick at, at the beach. Uh, there used to be a, a, a place on the island, a bar on the island. And from time to time, they would put out a, a, a marquee on the front, a sign on the front that mm-hmm. would say, would say, tonight the Rolling Stones mm-hmm. will be playing and then and then they would they would exit out and they would have, have uh, d- you know due to unavoidable situations the Rolling Stones were not able to make it and so you know XYZ local band will be uh, on the bill tonight <laughs> it's a dirty trick that probably worked for a while back in the day mm-hmm. well it was just it was just to be cute you know okay but uh, I don't I, I, I should I should hope nobody ever actually went there expecting to see the Rolling Stones in a mm-hmm. in a bar that wasn't uh, was about four times the size of the studio we're in. You know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe I exaggerate. Yeah. Might have been. Well, that wouldn't be a big bar. No, would not be a big bar at all. No. That's what was funny about it. You see mm-hmm. that that they would even. Whistle. Sounds like a banshee, doesn't it? Yes. Oh. I didn't actually bring any of the mics along with me. I just came and sat down for a minute, but here I am. Well, I thought maybe you would bring in. Well, I have one more uh, open slot here if you want to bring a mic. How about you want me to get one of the super good ones? Uh, you could bring a, You could bring several. And and we can we can unplug them and plug them, you know. I'll be right back. Yeah. But definitely get one of those little ones. Yes. Yes. The one. Is that what you like the best? You like the little ones. Those the were best? great. Those were. I was very impressed with them. Yes. Okay. Well, and I'm I don't glad. even. Hmm? I'm glad they're the most expensive. Well, yeah, and and I can see. I mean, for the very small microphones, the performance is absolutely amazing. Because mm-hmm. when. You were in here talking smack about me. I could hear it from them down the hallway. Mm-hmm. And it was, and you probably figured I could, which is why you were doing it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> and think about me being all bald and cross-eyed or something like mm-hmm. that. And, mm-hmm. and and they're very, very impressive. I mean, mm-hmm. I got to say. I'll tell you a story. When the first mic we got by that company, and I showed you that I have, the, did I show you I have the card of the guy that make the, that owns that company? Uh, I don't know I met him. Oh, I like I like to show my I have I have I have impressive uh, uh, I have a I have an impressive list of acquaintances mm-hmm. uh, d- uh, impressive to people in the sound business anyway uh, th- this would you recognize that outfit you know, yes and you may recognize that as the name on the microphone yes. well that's the name of the guy that owns the company yes. that makes the microphone and I don't know if you've ever heard of this person before nope okay well you can you can say the name of that person not like the, it, and, and some people who, who watch would know who that is. Rupert Neve, am I pronouncing it right? That's right, that's okay. right. That's Rupert R- Neve. Uh, that's Rupert's card. Anyway, but that's the guy, this is the guy that owns the microphone company mm-hmm. that, that uh, makes those, because you saw that name on the mics. Yes. And um, uh, they, the first mic that we got from his company, and this is before I'd met him, uh, was uh, my partner at the time, uh, got the microphone. I talked him into getting it. I said, "This is really the mic you want to get," and so he got it and he took it home. And he was in his, he was in his living room. He lived in an apartment building, but mm-hmm. um, uh, like a f- you know, with four apartments in it. Anyway, 
And so he was, uh, and so he had the headphones on, and he was listening to the microphone and talking in it and stuff like that. And then, and then, then he said he was going. He said, "Oh darn!" He says he thought it was. He says I thought it was picking up radio or something. He says I mm -hmm. was hearing somebody talking. And I, he thought it was like a news guy on the radio or something. He says, and he thought that it was like picking up a radio signal. And then he says, then he says, I realized it, it was the neighbors, not in the apartment building, but in the house next door. It was the people in their living room in the house next door. <laughs> and he was wow. like, whoa, this man, it, it's, a, it's like even a better mic than, than these wow. by that same company. And so he was like, and he, he like he so he got on the phone. And he was calling me. He was like, I thought it was picking up radio. And the, the people in the house next door in their living room were talking. <laughs> yeah. So it picks up. Yeah. yeah. They make they make a good mic. Yes. Well, I'm gonna go get one. I'll be go right back. Some, go get some of the mics. Hey, so glad to see you. Is there any other particular one kind you want me to bring? Well, probably the one that looks like a little football, don't you think? Does that uh, sound good? The, the cardioid slash omni, the yeah. special one. Okay. Or, and, uh, or maybe the one in the leather case. Or, may, or and the, the, all, all those. Uh, uh, get one of each. Okay. Get one of each. Let's do it. I mean, I'm about it. You one know? of each. Yeah, if you'll get one of each and a wire, then we'll do it. All right. Have you heard anything of the mics yet? Do you mm -hmm. care about mics? I don't know anything about mics. Being in a band, it looks like, you know, that you would, you know, like mics. It would be a, they would seem to be a good thing, mics. Mics are good. Yeah. Mi mics are good. Yeah. Crack is bad. Mics are good. Yeah, right. Yeah. I just know that my mic has never turned up loud enough. You're a vocal mic? Yeah. I think as a drummer, they... Uh -huh. they Can you sing well? Yeah. I mean, I do backup, but I'm... Uh -huh. But it's never turned up loud enough in the in the mains or in the monitors or... Usually both. Uh-huh. Um, because as a, as a sound man, what I do is, like, if somebody can't sing, I turn them down. Well, I can sing, and oh, I okay. hit the right note. But it'd be easier to hit the right note if I could hear myself. But um, Indeed it would. Show, our last show, I, I Which was, was in Chapel that, Hill. No, no, it was in Asheville. It's Asheville. Blue, oh, okay. On Friday. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, our next one is Chapel Hill. Okay. On the 3rd of August. Okay. But we... Um, the sound guy told me afterwards my my ride symbol was eating up the vocal mic. Oh, okay, I can believe that. So we had to turn it down. Uh huh. Um, which wasn't an issue for the first half of the show because I didn't do a lot of singing while playing the ride. But the second half, I I looked back and, and realized you know I couldn't hear myself the second half because a lot of the stuff I was doing. You were pounding was, on, the on the ride. Yeah, so. Well, you needed that mic at a different angle or a different kind of mic or yeah, something. I a lot of drummers work off those little things that, that hook on their head and got yeah. a little, you know, sure makes one. It's just a little yeah. thing that comes out there. You, you've seen drummers use those, haven't you? I think when I was in, like, eighth grade, I, I, I bought one of those, yeah. and, I, and I used it, and I used it one time, and I didn't, I didn't really like it. I okay. Just, I did, it kind of, it's just kind of goofy, you know, uh -huh. kind of weird. But, um, well, I just, I think I, I need to, but I did, I did realize it was, it was my problem. Mm -hmm. And not really the sound. Get you, get you one of those angle, jet so. helmets, a, head, a jet flight, jet, jet f fighter's helmet, you know, with 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 that all that face stuff that hangs on it, and it's got a microphone in it that it sounds like this right now. And, and uh, here, I could do that. Here. Yeah, now I've, I've given you a microphone. That perhaps you'll sing us a song a cappella. <laughs> not could no, you, not today. Can you do that? Do you know a song? I do, but I'm. Um, I, I don't think I could do that. Acapella, I do it. Will you sing with me? I won't sing with you, but because I may not know the same song. But if, right. if you'll sing a song acapella, I'll sing a song acapella. Maybe another time. Now, how about now? <laughs> I'm awful. Aren't I? But no, that can I be need good. to warm up, do my scales, and uh, well, if you, if, relax my voice. If you've really got a if you've really got a good song, and I and I know it too, I'll I'll do it with you. I'm, I'm not necessarily real good at singing with other people. I usually make them sing off key, okay. which makes well, which means then we're both off key. You know what I mean? But but uh, I will c I will come back one day with. Well, no, let's let's, let's, let's do it now. I, 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 let's, I, I'm on it's the spot. The, it's yeah. the spontaneity of it all. What song? Well, tell me about what songs do you know? And maybe if I know it, I'll just start singing it, and you could sing along or, or laugh at me. What what songs do you know that I would know? Uh, I don't know. Um. Mm -hmm. Why don't you suggest one? You know, I was, I was, I was born. 
in the dark ages. So you know something, something you know written by by uh, some dark aged person. Um, I don't know what we can do and make sound good. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we had a couple other people, we could work out a. So I wish I had a guitar. Or, uh, Do you have a guitar here? No. There's not a guitar mm. in the place, is it? Mm. We should have a, you know, we should have an acoustic guitar. It should be a standard thing. Yeah, that it's hanging just on a, the wall. Yeah, Yeah. it should be like as a decoration, but it works. Well, Joe is... He, he didn't bring he his here? guitar today. He was supposed to bring his guitar. We had talked about it earlier. It was a, have you ever heard Sweet Home Chicago? Mm -hmm. uh, by uh, the version from uh, Taj Mahal. I don't know. I don't think I've heard more than one version. Okay. Have you that ever, might be the version. Have you ever heard um, uh, Eric Clapton's version of Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out? Not on the top of my head. Have you ever heard Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out? What, what, are, the, what are some other versions? I don't think I have. Okay, well, then I'll, I'll, I'll sing you my version. my version. My version works if the musical... But if the guitar part that's played is played, if the if you play the, the I don't sing the Eric Clapton version, but the the musical accompaniment from the Eric Clapton version works. So you could hum that, right? I could. I okay, how does that song go? It says, "One, once I lived the life of a millionaire, spent all my money, mm, did not care, took my friends out for a good time." Ball boule whiskey, champagne and wine. Then I began to sing so low. Lost all my good friends, I had no place to go. If I get my hands on a dollar again, well, I'm going to hold on to it till that eagle grins. No, 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 nobody knows you. Oh, when you're down and out. In your pocket, not one penny. Uh, and as for friends, well, you don't have any. When you finally get yourself back on your feet again, oh, everybody wants to be your long lost friend. Seems mighty strange, without a doubt, how nobody knows you. Oh, nobody knows you. Oh, nobody knows you. When you're down and out. Okay. Wow. Decent? Yeah. Okay, your turn. You're quite a singer. That, that, that was good. Real your good. turn. Real good. Oh, I, I, you know, John, I, I can't do this. You mean you made me do that? Yeah. <laughs> I did. And I enjoyed it. And everyone else enjoyed it. That's a good, I, couldn't, I couldn't do better than that. It would that be, was a real soulful... It would be Boy, better if I had somebody playing a guitar, you know, and that would help keep me on key and mm -hmm. stuff, you know. You were on key. I mean, it was good. I'm impressed and, and uh, a little intimidated. Indeed. I used to be a singer, did you know? I used to mm -hmm. sing. Can you tell? Yeah, I, yeah, I can. You, you can tell I used to be able to sing. Well, I could, you're still a singer. You can tell you Not sing. really. You'd be surprised. <laughs> that, was, that was yesterday, and yesterday's gone. <laughs> The tea is good, though. My tea is good. Is yours good? Are you drinking this? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, I don't have any. There's no sugar. Not really. There's, so a, there's only this honey. There's this honey is the better honey, I think. And, um, and I'm think sorry. I need a little more. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that more says. More than I thought I did. Huh? I think I just I underestimated the amount of Yeah. Did you? Did, did you use from that? I from used a little bit of both. Oh, okay. This is better, I think. That says it's honey. And the other, if you read on it, it says it's uh, got some honey in it. <laughs> Blended honey. <laughs> Blended. Versus pure honey. Yeah. So. I've got some people checking out. Oh, yeah, you better stay, keep, your, keep your mind on your job. Let me see if they're standing out there. Okay. I can, I can, I can zoom in tight and, and, and uh, come in tight. On, like, see, I can come in tight, and then I can come in tight like this. And, see, and when I see that shot, I think I look like Imus. I think that, that looks like that's the Imus shot. Isn't that the Imus shot? Hey, come in, come in, have some tea. Uh -huh. There's some in the, 
big teapot right there. Here, yes, do they? Yes, do you have some? Yeah, I've been hearing rave reviews about, about the, what? the mics that you've picked out. The, we're doing all right. Yeah. We're doing all right. Do, well, tell me this, because here, here comes uh, Matt. Do you like them as well as as good or better than? And this is like a yes or no. Do you like them as good or better than the ones that uh, that the microphones we've had to work with so far at the at the uh, yes facility? Yes, in part. Well, obviously, especially these because I'll be raving about these for a while. Good, but you also like the variety. Uh, you know which ones they are. You know, those see are which the Rhodes uh, compressor yeah. ones. Condensers. Condensers. Yes. I'm learning. Yeah, I, I, I do that too. Did you get some honey or something in your tea? No, thank you. Okay. I'll, I'll, yes. I'll you. Um, okay, now where is the, uh, in the box that that was in, there's like the little XY thing. Do you know what the little XY holder is? Oh, Thanks, I'll go, it's the, it's the one with the two? Yeah, we can get okay. that and yeah, we'll, and we'll see if these, if these mounts will mount on it and be tight and stuff. And if not, we may need to make some, uh, uh, we may need to ask, add, we may need to add washers to them or something like that. Here we are. We're in the process. Um, um, as as everybody knows, let's see. We, let's have the anarchy on there. Okay. We're in the process, as everybody knows, of uh, of installing a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, temporal um, physics equipment uh, in order to. Uh, to uh, pin down one end of a wormhole and, and, and install time travel and various things. And we want to be sure that we have a lot of uh, the proper instruments to um, properly document and record and uh, uh, bring this uh, to the public uh, through uh, the Mad Scientist's Tea Party. So, so we're... Um, so we've, we've, we've ordered some microphones, and also partly just because we like microphones. We're, we're, uh, some, some of us are like microphone geeks. We're like, oh, microphones, yes. And um, so here they are. Uh, we have microphones. That's right. Now, ah. <sighs> See what's going on here. There. When, when things get a little dull, I can always bring in a little extra something in the background. There. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have one more trip. Okay. I was gonna say, give me the uh, little, the little. The little um, XY adapter and and the and the and the microphone holders that came with the road mic and I'll okay. adapt them onto it. There and here. Okay. And we'll we okay. We're gonna do we're gonna do XY 101, uh, the physics of the XY microphone uh, setup, okay. and it and it has to do re, and it has to do with phase relationships. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does it matter if I bring in some of the uh, cheapo, more cheapo mics, or do oh, you do just want to play with the good ones? Oh, do bring in. Okay, I've got one more. Oh, 